Leon is a small colonial town on the Pacific coast of Nicaragua, surrounded by volcanoes. It's an incredible base camp with many day trips and overnight hikes available. One of the most unique volcano experiences was suiting up in a yellow jumper and donning goggles to sled down the loose ash of Cerro Negro, the world's newest volcano. After a quick lunch, I went back out to Talika Volcano, home to a massive, smoke-filled crater to watch the sunset camp and then get up early to watch the sunrise over these perfect peaks. It was an amazing day filled with volcanic activity, and here's how it went. Good morning guys, it's our second day here in Lyon, Nicaragua, and yesterday we just explored the historic center here. We visited some of the churches and tried a lot of the cafes and restaurants here. And today we're actually gonna head out to some of the volcanoes that surround Lyon. And we're gonna go volcano boarding in the morning. Then in the afternoon, we're gonna hike up one of the volcanoes, camp up there, and then do sunrise tomorrow. So we're heading to the Volcano Day office right now, and we're gonna start the adventure soon. So let's check out the volcanoes. just leaving Via Via Hostel now and we're going to jump in this green truck it's going to take us over to Cerro Negro the volcano will be sliding down this morning so it's good We just had about a 45 minute drive through the Nicaraguan countryside. We drove through some little villages, through these little uh, forests, uh, past a lot of farm field, and then eventually we saw the black volcano off in the distance, and then it was a different landscape as we were just driving that massive truck through all of this volcanic ash until we got to the base of the volcano here. And we saw some of the sliding things just going straight down the hill, and it looks super steep and it's a little intimidating and we have to hike all the way up this it'll be about a 45 minute hike to get to the top of the volcano before we just slide down in about 15 or 30 seconds so yeah we're gonna start the hike soon we stretch time we stretch so we have to carry our boards up the hill here we have a backpack that has our goggles our suit that we're going to sled down in and yep we're about to hike up this and it is really windy and it says it's going to get even windier as we go up so let's start the hike minutes or so we've just been walking around the base of the volcano but it is tough carrying that board it probably weighs like I don't know 20 pounds but it gets really heavy when you're just carrying it and fighting the wind so far yeah it's just been fairly gradual but eventually we're gonna have to go like straight up the side of this and it's gonna get really steep and more windy but yeah it's pretty exciting
it is really, really, really windy up here. My hat blew off, of course, and I caught that. And then my glasses blew off and blew like straight off the side of the mountain. So I can't see anything. Um, fortunately, I had to go grab a little bit. Um, they got pretty scratched up. Anyways, this is the thing we're going to do. Um, Alright, so I'm going to go to volcano in Central America. It was created in about 1850 and it last erupted about 23 years ago. So from up here you can see some of the other volcanoes in both directions. You can see Talika way over here which is where I'm gonna hike later this afternoon and camp up there. You can also see Lyon way in the distance. You can see the white cathedral we were hiking on yesterday for sunset. So yeah we're gonna take a little we have a couple minutes here to just kind of walk around the crater, check out some of the views of the volcano up here, and then we'll suit up to go boarding. here where we're going to start our volcano spot but this has been quite the challenge to video because it's so windy and there's just like you know, ash everywhere so i gotta be careful with my gear but i'm hoping to get a couple shots so we've just gotten all of the instructions for how to go fast how to go slow he said that some people have gone down in 15 seconds and some people have taken half an hour so you kind of get to choose your own speeds guys just made it to the bottom of the hill there and kind of took it easy but it, there was definitely like times where I was like flying and I had to like put on the brakes really hard and all this like dust and ash kicked up on me but yeah very fun just cruising down here and yeah it, it probably took about 30 40 seconds something like that but very fun very unique experience just sliding down a volcano and just such a beautiful hike getting to see a lot of the crater up there and the geological history of being such a young volcano so anyways very fun there's just a couple other people coming down so i might just get a video of them and then we're off to the truck have some refreshments and then i'll be off to my afternoon hike pretty soon but pretty fun <laughs> Just got back to the truck. They have some fresh watermelon. They have some 
rum and coke for us to just relax and hang out at the base of the volcano before we head back to Lyon. So we've just made it back to the town of Lyon here and we're gonna go to Via Via Hostel where we, where we picked up the truck at the beginning of the day and get some lunch, get a beer, just relax a little bit before I head off on my afternoon hike where I'll meet uh, Zach and Merlin, started the afternoon hike earlier today and I'll meet them on the mountain this afternoon. I just had to pack up all my stuff from the one bag and put it into my overnight bag where I have like a tent and a sleeping pad and everything. And we're gonna jump in the car now and head off for the Halika sunset and overnight camping trip. So let's go. been a bit of a bumpy ride but we've come up about 40-45 minutes and we're just getting our first view here of Talika volcano so that's the edge of the volcano here that we're gonna be hiking up later this afternoon and camping on tonight so pretty beautiful anyways we just have about 10 or 20 more minutes to drive and then we'll start the hike Just got to our parking spot here and you can see Talika Volcano just there and we're at about 700 meters and we're only going up a couple hundred meters to about a thousand but we're up above treeline and you can have this beautiful view looking out at surrounding volcanoes you can see San Cristobal which is smoking off in the distance and I heard that we're gonna get some smoke and sulfur and vapor coming out of Talika as well so should only be about an hour to get to kind of the sunset viewing point and being able to see the crater. So really not that bad, but then I'm gonna be camping. A lot of these other people, they're gonna just, they're just doing a sunset up and then they're gonna be coming back down. But I'm gonna, I have the big bag here because I'm gonna spend the night up on the volcano. So let's go.
volcanoes off in the distance that way. So, and it's still a very active volcano that could go off like any second. And the last like major eruption was in 2015 and it lasted for about five months, just constantly spewing lava. And it's just wild just standing here at the edge of this huge crater. So it's kind of scary. <laughs> beautiful. There's this little guy that sells some beers and some sodas up here, so we're gonna grab some beers and there's a sunset spot that's just around the edge of the crater here, so we're gonna kind of walk along the edge and watch the sunset. So, let's go. about 5.55, just finished up packing up camp, and we are off to our sunrise spot, which should only be about a 15 minute hike, so it won't be far, but we're just starting to get the early morning dawn, and yeah, we'll go up this hill over here, and we'll be able to look back down at the volcano, and then see the sunrise over the valley off in the distance. So let's, let's go, vamos.
beautiful views all around here. Amazing. Are just so beautiful like this is just one of the coolest volcanoes I've seen the way it's just smoking so much so we're gonna start heading down now it shouldn't take more than 45 minutes or an hour to get down from this mountain so it shouldn't be long at all and we'll be back in the car so almost <laughs> about 7.22 and we just made it down from the Talika hike. We're gonna jump in the truck here. We're gonna take that bumpy ride back out of here for about an hour or so until we get back to Lyon. But yeah, that was a pretty cool hike. Pretty awesome going up there, seeing that volcano, seeing the smoke. And I just always love like camping up there and we just had such beautiful stars to see the moon. So anyways, for now, let's just jump in the car and head back to Lyon.